Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to associate sounds with events on your computer. This is probably more of a fun thing than anything, um, but it's still kind of nice to know how to do it. So what we're going to do is change the sound scheme a little bit on our computer. So for example, you can when it starts up, you can have it make different sounds. When it shuts down, you can have it make different sounds. When it does just about anything, you can have it make a different sound than what you than what comes standard with Windows. And um, it's not particularly useful, but it's still kind of fun. So well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sound of uh, the sound that the computer makes when Windows starts up. And the first thing we need is a replacement sound for it. So I went online and I found this uh, Star Wars page. And here's a, uh, let's just play it real quick. All systems have been alerted to your presence, sir. Okay, so that would be kind of fun to have when the computer starts up. So we'll go back and we're going to save this file. Put the mouse just like that. Click the right button on your mouse. Go down to save link target as. And uh, I just leave it on the desktop normally, but this time let's put it in our documents. And then we'll just put it right there for now. It's okay. So we'll save it. And it's already finished. Okay, so now what we need to do is um, change the event. So we can close this. We're going to go to Start, Control Panel and uh, sounds and audio devices right down here. So we'll double click that. Okay, and then we can actually close the control panel, keep this open. And we're gonna click sounds. Now the first thing you'll notice is that there's already Windows default. That's what the original one. Um, this is original because I was messing around with something, but Windows default is there. Um, that's what it starts up as. Um, and then we'll, so don't worry about that. And what we're going to do, let's change that startup sound again, or startup sound. Go down here and just use this thing on the right to go down to something that you want to change. Okay, and here's the one for starting Windows. And just then you click this button to see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's the sound we're gonna change. All right, and the first thing we do is browse for the sound. And remember, we put it in our documents, and it's alerted. Wave. Double click that. Okay. So that's and now let's test it. Okay, now this is really touchy, so you have to do it in exactly the right order. Um, feel free, if you have to, to stop the video as needed, um, or take notes or whatever you need to do. But this is this part is really touchy. Okay, so um, let's see. Once we have it, have this down here associated with starting Windows. We need to click apply. Okay. And then click save as. And let's call it Star Wars. Click OK. And then click OK. All right, now let's restart the computer and see what it does. And you could make a sound for like when it turns off. You could probably find a cool something from Star Wars for when it turns off. Well, let's just make sure it worked. And like I said, this part is really touchy. You want to, once you get the sound chosen, you want to click apply, then click save as, and save it like we did with Star Wars, 
or then click OK. That's the important part. It's got to be in that right order. All systems have been alerted to your presence, sir. And there we go. It worked just fine. Now you can go back in and you can add um, like special effect sounds for anything you want. Um, you could, even, you know, later on we'll show you how to change the background, but you could do it, make your computer into a full-blown theme of something. So again, you go to Control Panel, Sounds and Audio Devices, Oops. Sounds, and then you just go from there. If you screw things up, you can always go back to Windows Default and start over, but I think you'll do okay. It's just important to to do it the right order. So once you get the, the sound that you want, you click Apply, then Save As, then click OK. All right. If you have any problems or questions, uh, just let me know. Thanks.